All right, so we are going to install the Cloudy G3 ROM. To note, I've already done this, okay, so I can confirm this method works. I am using Phil's Touch. I am using version 6.19.7, which is based off Clockwork Mod version 6.0.4.7. I'm using it because as a preference it seems to work with more ROMs than not. Alright, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to go factor data reset after you've, been, after you've downloaded the files that are listed in the description below and we're going to wipe to install a new ROM. Be cognizant of the heat that is generated when you're installing these large ROMs, these factory ROMs. Okay, choose zip from SD card, download and it is called Cloudy G3 1.0 as of right now. It utilizes an Aroma installer. We're going to hit next. We're going to do installation. Select your variant. In my case it's the LG G2 D800, but just so you can see here, you even have the Sprint and Verizon, Verizon the Argentina model, Latin American model, T-Mobile, International, Canadian, Korean, Korean, Korean. So there we go. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and install all of these. And I'll hit install now. And we'll let this go. A few things while this is installing to remember. This is a direct port of the G3 ROM. There are some things that do not work. If you want to know what those things are, they're listed numerous times in the forms. Please, please, if you're going to use this ROM, do a search. It's already had to have the thread cleaned twice by moderators. One time over a hundred plus posts were cleaned because it blew up from the moment this ROM dropped. It was post after post after post. And then after all the thank you posts and the downloading now posts, then you had the, oh, this doesn't work, that doesn't work, even though uh, it had been reported, some of them had been reported. Is this information useful? Yes, but he already has it. So unless you've searched to make sure the issue that you find, or the, product, or the functionality that you find that doesn't work, has not been posted, and you're posting it because you wanted to have it, please, please search and don't repost what's already out there. I am not going to reboot the device. Okay, I recommend that you don't either. Once it's done, go back. Go back, power options, and power off the phone, and let it sit and cool off for about five minutes. Here we go. We're going to fire it up, and you will see Cloudy G3 ROM booting with the updated boot logo. It's pretty simple, clean. I like it. Keep in mind, it will take a while for the first boot. I restored my backup, so mine's quicker, but this will take a while. And here we go. Things to note with this ROM, if you change the DPI, the smart notification widget here will not work. Um, so I've had to leave the launcher at 480 DPI. However, I've changed numerous apps uh, over to 400 DPI. So apps like Tap a talk here. This is in 400 DPI. It's not as big and boxy. Okay, so it's not just a font change there. Other than that, we will have a full review to follow up with this as soon as one can be had. Thank you. Hope you found this video useful.